What's going on, everybody? Chef Ira in the house one more time. And I got a recipe for you today. So guess what? You know what month this is. This is June, and it is Caribbean American Heritage Month. It's also Soul Food Month. Yes, when it comes to food. So we're combining, you know, a few things today. We got curry. We got garam masala. We got collard greens. Yes. So we're going to hook that up for you today. Yes, it's going to be a um, garam masala spiced chicken. We're using chicken thighs today, nice and you know flavorful. And we got uh, you know some fettuccine noodles and um, tomatoes. And it's also mango season. Yes, you know, especially if you're down here in South Florida and from, you know, the islands, it's still mango season. So we got a little mango puree, we got some butter, some, some tomato, some thyme, some onions, some garlic, and of course, coconut milk, yes. And, um, you know, I got a little scotch by the pepper too as well. So, a little bit on me, yes. Chef, yeah, man, the most important thing, man, Chef Fire, I'm here. You know, in South Florida, private chef, traveling chef, you know, you know, DM me, you know, I am Chef Ari, IG, you know, Twitter, Chef Ari, Facebook, Chef Ari, yes! So, you can always find me, you can always hire me, book me, and of course, Tasty Islands, a culinary adventure in a Caribbean kitchen. Please get it, it's on Amazon. Yes, it's a cool book, two seasons of the show, Tasty Islands, on Amazon, get it, yes. <laughs> Yes, you know, I could bring it to your parties, you know, when we you book me, you know, uh, buy some for your guests. I'm just telling you. Trust me. I think that's what you should do. Anyway, what am I drinking today? Uh, I'm going to show a little um, to the Caribbean. We got Appleton Estate, eight-year reserve, with a little mango puree. That's it. It is awesome. All right, let's get cooking, people. What are we going to do first? Uh, we're going to sear, we're going to make sure, we're going to start searing our chicken, all right? Turn that heat up, because I want that to get, you know, some color on it. Our pan was getting hot, all right? All right, happy, 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 yes, we're going to happy, happy it up. So this is chicken thighs. We've uh, seasoned it with some garam masala, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and a little lime juice, like half of a lime juice. So this is, this is like two chicken thighs, and we've cut them down into smaller pieces so that they can cook a little faster. All right. Now, some tutorials here. So we did say we're using color greens, all right? So this is what I have. This is what it looks like right now. How did I get to that point? So you know, in the South, yes, color greens, you know, cook it down, ham hocks, turkey neck, and all that good stuff. But that, we're not doing that today, all right? So, of course, I'm just gonna remove the leaves from the spine, and then so I just cut right along both sides of this spine right here. Just remove that one more time, right along the spine. All right. All right, so what we're gonna do, before I cut myself, we're just gonna make sure we put all the leaves together. And then we're going to cut this in half and then put them together again, just like that. So what I want is very thin threads. And we're going to turn this chicken over because yeah, we want some color and that's what we want. So we're going to turn that over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So what we want is very thin thread. So we're going to cut these, Julian style, and I'm gonna show you what we're looking for. 
So we're looking for thin threads just like that, all right? So what you're gonna do with this column green, once you've threaded like this, we're going to add this to a pot uh, with boiling water, salted boiling water. And I use about, I think, six or eight leaves, maybe eight leaves, maybe ten, eight, or eight to ten leaves, and shred it. And we're going to blanch this in the boiling water, salted boiling water, for about two minutes. Then we're going to remove it, and we're going to add the blanched collard greens to ice water, shock it, let it stay nice and green, uh, take it out. Squeeze it out, squeeze out all the water, and this is what you're gonna have left, all right? Cool beans. All right, what we got, what we got, what we got, chef? All right, so. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little water. Just a tad. And I'm going to cover, and I'm going to turn the heat down. Yeah, all right. And what I'm going to do is, I got some time here, so I'm going to get the leaves off, and just run your hands right down, take the leaves right off the stem, all right, just like that. I don't need a lot. All right. All right. Turn the heat back up. And we're going to take the chicken thighs out for a sec. Yes, they're not cooked yet. but I want to get some other things going, All right? All right. Chicken! All right, so within here, we got chopped garlic, chopped ginger, add that. Yeah, buddy. We got some Julian onions. This is like about half of an onion. All right, so let's do that. Nice. And we're gonna add our thyme. So, leave off the stem, cut that, add thyme. Boom, shuck it, duck it, quack, quack. All right, so what we're gonna do now is add our mango, mango puree, all right? Could be mango, the straight up mango puree, mango pulp, and I need more liquid. Just a little water. Maybe about half a cup. That works for me. And we're going to add coconut milk. Yes. I just. We're going to stir that around. And we're going to add our collard greens. At least, we're going to add half of our collard greens that I have here. All right, gonna add half of it. And we're going to add our chicken back in the pan. Until it gets cooked through. Well, you know, this doesn't go to waste, all right? Sorry. Not sorry. All right, so. All right, so we're gonna let Actually, before we do that, we need to add a couple of things now. We're going to add a little curry, curry powder. So what I, what am I using? So I've got about a teaspoon, 
Yeah, let's add about a um, two teaspoon of curry powder. And this is hot Jamaican style curry powder. And we got a little bit more of our garam masala. And just to add a little more flavor, about a teaspoon of that. And we're going to add the rest of the other part of the lime. All right? Juice of half a lime. Done. All right? So let's just mix this around. All right? Oh, man. The colors, the colors. Yes. All right, awesome. Now we're gonna let this sit for about, I don't know, five minutes or so, and I'll be right back. What's going on? Look here. About 68 minutes. Our chicken is about cooked through. This is what you're looking for. Right there, right there, look at that. Colors, lovely, color green, still nice and green. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the chicken thighs out. And we're gonna finish up this dish. All right, chicken thighs out. Niceness, happy, happy. All right, so we're gonna add now our tomatoes. Turn my heat up a little bit. And I need a little more liquid, a little more water. If you, you can use chicken stock if you so prefer. We're gonna add the rest of our collard greens. See how they're nice and green? Yes, that's what our blanching and shocking does. You blanch it, get it kind of halfway there, and then you shock it. All right, we're going to now add our butter. So I got maybe about, oh uh, yeah, probably about three tablespoons of butter. Why not? And we're gonna add just a little bit of scotch butter. Why? Because we were using a very hot curry powder. So we're just using this scotch bonnet just for flavor. All right. We're gonna let the butter reduce. And guess what? We're gonna add our fellow chini noodles. And then, yes, our fettuccine noodles, they were cooked ahead. Just, so we're gonna add fettuccine, fettuccine. All right, so I don't know if I wanna add all of this, because I'd like to have some sauce. And then we're just gonna mix this around. And guess, we can do that, all right? Nice. Stir that around. Get the pasta heated through. And guess what? This is done. So we're just gonna plate this up. So our colored green fettuccine, curry, coconut sauce, garam masala. Yes! The thing's ready. All right. We're going to plate it up. All right, so let's get some of this. Let's twist them around, twist them around. Come on now. All right. Let's put some chicken, chicken thighs, 
right over the top. We don't need a lot. And guess what? The dish is done. Or the plating of the dish is done. So we'll get a little sauce right over the top of the chicken. Add a little of the tomato, get some color. Yes, people, this is done. Nice and clean. Hopefully you thought it was very simple, enough to do. All right, so try it. Tell me how it come out. And remember, food and fire experiences all the time. Chef Ari, I'm here for you. I am Chef Ari on IG, Chef Ari Twitter, Chef Ari Facebook. Yes, and don't forget, get your book, Tasty Islands, Culinary Adventure in a Caribbean Kitchen. Yes, book me, hire me, traveling chef. Thank you.